Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. I think I've mentioned before in some previous videos that I am a nail biter. And to combat this, I typically do my nails like three times a week because as long as they look pretty, I'm less likely to bite them. I got this little box sent to me from a company called Madame Glam and it's their gold gel kit. I'm super excited to share this with you guys because they are vegan, they're cruelty free. These are essentially supposed to be like a one step gel nail. So you don't need a base and a top coat. It's supposed to be base, top coat, and color all in one. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this channel I post a lot of beauty, lifestyle, makeup, hair related videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. So what they sent me is their gel gold nail kit. It comes with everything you need. So it has the three glamorous gel polishes. It has the nine watt LED lamp. It has the nail foils. So this little packet right here, these nail foils are gonna be very helpful to take it off. And they have um, these little, I hope you guys can see that, but this is what it looks like in the inside and they just help you take it off. So you just put your finger on it. I'm sure you guys have seen videos of them um, being used by professionals. <laughs> they also have in the kit these little tools. I do have my own tools, so I won't be using them, but yeah, it's nice that they have it there. Let's open up the kit itself. We look inside, this is what it looks like. So you have your three gel nail polishes at the top, then you have the little LED. Now it is $99. Immediately looking at this lamp, like it's a little bit, flimsy, is that the right word? I guess maybe, um, for like the price of being like a whole kit that's $99. I actually do have my own LED lamp, this one right here, and it has like all the nice settings and everything on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but all the nice settings on the back. So I'll test this one out. If it doesn't work, I do have my own to use. The only thing about this I would say is that you literally just fit your fingers and then you have to do your thumb separately. But with this one, because of the size that it is, you can just put your whole hand in it. So it depends on what you want to do, but I'll try it out, see if it works. Um, then it comes with all the attachments, of course, that go with it, which is good. Let's get the nail colors. So like I said, they did end up sending me three different shades. The first one being this Dance in the Snow, like a pearly white. It's really pretty, actually. It's very pretty. The second one they sent me is Que Pasa. This one almost looks like a cream. Almost like a nude. They asked me if I wanted like bright colors. You guys know I'm not a bright color kind of girl, unless it's like, you know, one of the four colors that I wear, which is like green, red, blue, and brown. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the second one, almost like a peachy color, really pretty. Ooh, you can smell that. That does not smell the greatest. <laughs> yeah. The last one they sent me is You Know You Want Me. This one's almost like a gray, just looking from the bottle. That's really pretty. That is really pretty. Um, yeah. I'll do more close-ups later, but these are Soak Off High Gloss Formulas. If you were to get them by themselves, they do retail normally for $24.95. Right now they do have a holiday sale going on, so they're about $12.48 each. They do come in 48 shades. I literally just counted it on the website. 48 shades from like nudes to bright colors to um, pastel shades shimmery shades there's everything for everyone so that's really cool and i and i do think that they are kind of a steal right now with them being on sale so we'll see how they go they're supposed to last for two weeks on your nails so i'm gonna try them out for two weeks and then i'm gonna pop in and share with you guys how they have lasted so this is what it looks like when it's all plugged in and as you can see there's just an on and off button thing is when you put your hand underneath like this like your nails don't completely fit i i mean that's I mean, nice if you want to travel. I can't imagine how strong it will be. So we'll try it out and see what happens. But anyways, the first thing I want to do is clean up my nails. My nails, <laughs> they look kind of really, they look really rough. You know, they do. They do look really, really rough. So I'm going to start by shaping them. My thumbnails did break off. So we're going to just shape them up and make them all nice and even. And then I'll be right back. So I just lightly cleaned up my nails. I'm not really gonna show you guys what exactly I did. I do have a video where I go through how I take care of my nails anyways. I literally did the exact same routine. It's up there if you guys wanna see it as well. What color are we going to use? Let's do white. 
There aren't really that many instructions on it. Basically just put it on, cure for 60 seconds, and then go. So right off the bat, the brush is a little bit big. So if you do have like smaller nails, it may be a little bit difficult to do it. So there you go. It says don't get it on your skin. So I'm just gonna take this and take it off of my skin. I'm assuming it would burn if you got it on your skin and cured it. So let's do that. Oh, it is like separating. Can you guys see that? Uh oh. Okay, let me just cure this right away. The formula is just separating. I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen. I'm not sure, but I'm just starting with this one pinky because if it doesn't look good, I can take it off. They say leave it on for two minutes. The other thing I'll say is that this one has a, oh, it just shut off by itself. Okay, well, let's try a second, the second coat. I don't know, am I supposed to do thicker layers? What's going on here? Are you supposed to immediately cure it? Like, what is the case? Let's try that cure again. I mean, I would assume you can do your whole hand at the same time rather than having to do them one by one. I believe this thing is timed at 30 seconds. So that is 60 seconds. And that's what it looks like. It's not fully opaque, but it looks decent. At least it's not splotchy. It's a little bit splotchy on this side. Maybe I'll do one more coat. I'm actually just going to test out all the colors and see what they look like to be honest because I think that'll be interesting. And I'm actually going to switch to using my um, UV light lamp because I want to see if it would cure better. It could definitely be a little bit smoother. It's not the best mm, that I've ever seen but um, let's go ahead and try the other colors. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna use is Cape Paso. I automatically have my timer set at 60 seconds, so we'll see how that goes. So immediately I do find that it sets a little bit better than the one from Madame Glam. So here's what the nude looks like. Cape Paso took me four coats to get this. It's definitely not like doing regular nail polish, because it's really thick and I believe you're supposed to put it on thick as well. Now it is still a little bit like see-through, just a little bit, but it looks okay. Maybe if I added a fifth coat. Now my coats, once again, were very thin because I'm used to applying just regular nail polish. So maybe you're supposed to do them a bit thicker. I think if I added one more coat, it'd be a little bit more opaque, but that's what it looks like. It's pretty nice and glossy as well. And they are quite dry. So here's the gray. It almost looks like more of like a purple gray. It's like a mauve type of color. It's really pretty actually. This is only two coats. I did do a thicker coat so it looks pretty good. I think that because the actual brush is pretty thick it is a little bit difficult to get in the corners but I just kind of use the stick and try to clean up the sides as well. No burning, no nothing. It didn't hurt or anything. I think this is a really nice color. Yeah, so far I think this one, you need more coats for this one in particular, but the other ones look pretty darn good and they're quite shiny as well. Okay, so I just finished doing the other side and I did end up putting a little bit of cuticle oil on top. This is from Vine Vera Reservatrol Skin Care. It's their cuticle oil. I just put a little bit on the nail as well as underneath to keep them nice and moisturized. Now I will say, it actually looks really, really good. It looks very shiny and it finished very well. I'm gonna zoom you guys in as well so you guys can see what it looks like. Don't mind my application because it's not the best. Um, I'm just used to applying a thinner consistency of like nail polish on my nails. These, It's pretty gummy, is that the right word? It almost feels like a nail serum. Like it's not, mm, not quite a serum, but it's a little bit, sticky. I did end up getting them like piling up at the bottom. It's kind of hard to get them flat, but I think that's more because I've never used this type of nail polish before than anything else. Maybe four, three or four coats on every single nail. And that's actually pretty fine. It took me, I think, maybe 30 to 45 minutes to finish this. So they do say that they last for two weeks. Personally, I don't usually keep nail polish on for longer than like four days. So I'm gonna really try. <laughs> so far they look good and I'm happy how they turned out. As for the actual 
um, UV light, like mm, you might as well just get one online. I'll link the one that I have down below. It's really clutch. It has like the different times. So it's like 120, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, and I think 15 seconds on it, which makes it really easy if you need to like touch up or something. But this one, I think you can just get away with not getting something like this. That's fine. Um, so maybe not get the whole set, but I think the nail polishes are pretty good so far. But we'll see within the next couple of days going forward. Okay, so it's been about a week that I've had these on my nails. And for the most part, they look really good. Like, look at that. They look really good. They look pretty opaque. They make your nails not hard, but a little bit reinforced, which I like. The only thing I don't like is you can see on my thumb... The corners are starting to lift a little bit. And if I just push on it, do you see how it's like lifting? You can basically just rip it off. It's like, like that. This is so hard to do with one hand. But do you see? It doesn't ruin your nail. That's good. But it just lifts off. On my other hand, my pinky already came off by the same method. My nail actually broke, but um, same thing happened. Okay, guys, so it's been two weeks now, and it's time to take off these nails. I've already done a few of them, as you can see. These ones came off really easily because they were already peeling, so it got really simple to just poke the side of it and peel it off, and it was just fine. Um, as for these ones, they're a little bit more stubborn. So I just filed them off with this grit um, file. I have no idea what number this grit is because I don't really know nails that much but this is the one I use it's a smoother side on this side and a more of a grit side on this side and I use the grit to just take off some of the shine off of the nail and then for my actual nail I filed it down with this one to make it nice and smooth but anyways it comes with these little sheets these foils so I have one two three four five one two three Four, five, five. So this is what I'm going to be using to remove my nails. This is 100% pure acetone. Now I don't typically use this one whenever I'm using regular nail polish, but anything to do with like poly gels, acrylic nails, I don't really use acrylic nails anyways, but gel nails, gel um, nail polish, stuff like that, I will use this to remove it just because it's a lot quicker. And then I have a whole routine where I take care of my nails as well. And I've never experienced any real damage to my nails either. So this has been working for me. So I'm going to take this <laughs> and put this on the pad and we're just going to put your finger inside and I'm just going to do that for every one of my nails. There we go. Now all that's left to do is wait. I just took these off and this is what they look like. They literally just popped off my fingers. That's kind of cool. Wow, that was so easy. And I'm not digging into it like this. I'm going this way. So I'm barely even scratching the surface because I don't want to actually touch my nails. I only want to take this polish off. All right, so I just finished doing the nail portion of everything. <laughs> and I just washed my hands. Um, yeah, they still look really good and quite healthy and everything. And now I'm just going to put some cuticle oil on my nails because they've been sitting in acetone for like <laughs> at least 20 minutes. And there you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I loved making it. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried Madame Glam or gel nail polish in general at home yourself. I would love to hear what you guys have any tips of how to apply them, how to make them last longer, whatever you guys have for us, let us know so all of us can have beautiful nails at home. <laughs> as always, click over here to see some of my previous videos and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.